The Ford Bronco 2's popularity among compact utility buyers continues, but with new features to enhance its appeal. I'm Jim Hamilton. And I'm Nancy Rice. In the next few minutes, we'll take a quick look at Bronco 2 in its segment. You'll hear about some new for 1990 features, and we'll take a look at model availability. You'll see a walk around that includes five key reasons to buy Bronco 2 and suggests a track for your own selling. And you'll get a close look at a preferred equipment package that packs Bronco 2 with exceptional value. We'll tell you a little about your competitors. And give you a couple of tips for selling Bronco 2 in 1990. In calendar year 1988, you helped sell more Bronco 2s than ever before, and you can expect that popularity to continue in the months ahead. Typically, Bronco 2 buyers look for versatility. Nearly 7 in 10 already own a car and want to expand their mobility. Many of those are young people. They like a Bronco 2 as a second vehicle for recreation and for everyday life in the suburbs. Pay attention to women buyers. They're becoming more and more of a factor in Bronco 2 purchases. Today, 38% of Bronco 2 principal drivers are women. Recent studies show when selling to women, it's important to cover all details. In fact, these studies show women place greater value on features and benefits when explained properly. The compact utility segment sales are growing, and that by itself should help you capture an increased share of Bronco 2 sales. New features for 1990 may help you sell more Bronco 2s, like improved callouts and labels to make underhood servicing easier and faster, and a redesigned air conditioning compressor and mounting hardware, and distinctive color-keyed instrument panel appliques for XLT and Eddy Bauer models, and touch-drive electric shift, now standard for Bronco 2 4x4s. Bronco 2 comes in four distinct models, the base XL, the lively XL Sport, the unique Eddie Bauer model that comes with a handsome set of Eddie Bauer luggage and a special 2424 Ford Care warranty in addition to the basic warranty. Then there's the Bronco 2's bestseller, Bronco 2 XLT with PEP 931A. You'll hear more about the things we've mentioned, but now let's take a look at the 1990 Bronco 2 XLT and Nancy Lenari, who'll tell you about some of its important features and benefits. Power, performance, practicality, fun, and savings. They're all here in the 1990 Bronco 2. One of the first things every Bronco 2 prospect should know about is twin traction beam independent front suspension for four-wheel drive models to prevent solid axle shock and rebound. Each front wheel rides over bumps independently of the other and that smooths the ride. Improves performance and comfort. It's a Ford exclusive. Also exclusive is Ford's patented twin I-beam independent front suspension for two-wheel drive Bronco 2s. The principle's the same. Each front wheel absorbs shock by itself for greater control and passenger comfort. While we're still at the front end, I want to show you how clear the callouts and labels are to make routine service points easier to find. That's new convenience for 1990. Bronco 2 standard power plant is a Husky 2.9 liter V6 and has multiple port electronic fuel injection. Clean burning, fuel efficient, and strong enough to go most anywhere, on or off the road. A smooth four-speed automatic with overdrive can go with the V6 at extra cost, but Bronco 2's manual transmission special value package saves your prospects money. Here's what they get. The five-speed manual with overdrive, which lowers engine speed in fifth gear on the highway to help economy and reduce engine wear, outline white letter all-season tires on deluxe wheels, electronic AM-FM stereo radio with cassette deck and digital clock, a very sporty, convenient luggage rack, handy swing-away spare tire carrier, and cargo cover. That special value package represents significant savings over all that extra equipment purchased separately. Moving back, a major Bronco 2 feature to point out is its rear wheel anti-lock braking system. On most surfaces, it pumps the brakes automatically to regulate pressure and inhibit brake-induced rear wheel lockup in two-wheel drive for precise, controlled stopping. Inside, seating for four is standard. That's a strong sales point against many compact utilities, like S10 Blazer, because believe it or not, their rear seat costs extra. Or your Bronco 2 can take five, with the optional 60-40 front bench seat. 
By the way, this and all other competitive comparison statements are based on 1989 model comparisons. The captain's chairs are great for comfort, with plenty of support where you need it most, for your back and sides. A handy feature for carrying long loads is Bronco 2's split, fold-down rear seat. There's nothing like it for S10 Blazer or Jeep Cherokee. The instrument panel's attractive, color-keyed touches are new for the 90 Bronco 2 XLT and Eddie Bauer models. Touch drive electric shift is now standard for all Bronco 2 4x4s. That means you can shift into four-wheel drive on the go. Convenient, dependable 4x4 performance without an obtrusive transfer case shift lever on the floor and without having to worry about getting out to lock the hubs. Manual locking hubs are still available, though, along with a manual shift transfer case as a credit option. In any product presentation, it's important to include these five key reasons to buy. The ride that comes from Bronco 2's standard twin traction beam independent front suspension for 4x4s. The power of Bronco 2's standard 2.9 liter EFI V6. The value and savings in Bronco 2's manual transmission special value package. The security that Bronco 2's standard rear wheel anti-lock brake system provides on most road surfaces and the flexibility of Bronco 2's standard seating for four or optional seating for five. Also, whenever you present product, be sure to remind your customers of the benefits of Ford PEP. Ford makes selling and buying easy with preferred equipment packages. PEP packages increase the likelihood that your inventory has vehicles already equipped the way most people buy them to let you sell out of stock. So PEP packages increase your likelihood of selling and delivering a new Bronco 2 now while your prospect's in the mood. See the Selling PEP tab in the source book for more details. Your prospect should also know that PEP helps to maintain product quality by reducing the number of assembly build variations. And based on Ford market research, buyers want to buy packaged cars, not individual options. Your prospects will appreciate the value and savings in a PEP package. Here's what's in the Bronco 2 XLT's PEP 931A, air conditioning power window and power lock group, tilt steering wheel and speed control, deluxe two-tone paint, and privacy glass. The point is, your buyer gets terrific value for a great price. An XL Sport with PEP 922A, for example, offers very attractive savings to base compact utility prospects. An XLT with PEP 931A gives you a competitive leg up by itself against Chevy's S10 Blazer. Then add the manual transmission special value package to PEP 931A, and the savings are even greater. And you can use that extra value to strengthen your sales presentation. And in any sales presentation, keep your competition in mind. Chevy, for example. We anticipate that they'll scratch the 2.8-liter engine for the S10 Blazer 4x4, but they'll make a five-speed manual transmission available with their 4.3-liter V6. We also expect that Jeep Cherokee will have a standard AM-FM stereo radio next year, but Bronco 2 already has a standard AM-FM radio with electronic tuning, four speakers, and a digital clock. And standard outboard three-point seat belts for rear passengers is another possibility for the 1990 model Cherokee. It wouldn't hurt to shop them and any other competition to find out what they have and how to sell against it. In Ford Motor Company's ongoing commitment to quality, surveys of vehicle owners are constantly providing valuable information that results in an improved product. Many times, customers return to the dealer within the first few weeks of ownership with questions or concerns that could be avoided by a more thorough delivery demonstration. So for a tip when you sell Bronco 2, here's Nancy Lenari. When customers complain, it's sometimes because they don't know enough about their new Bronco 2. Entry and exit from the rear seat of Bronco 2 is accomplished through the use of a tip slide mechanism on the front seats. This should not be confused with the seat track adjuster located under the front seat of the seat cushion. When the handle marked lift is pulled upward, the seat back will fold forward and the entire seat will slide ahead, like this. A slight push forward will then move the seat far enough ahead for adequate room to enter the rear seat. By the way, when exiting the rear seat, lifting the upper lever or pushing down the lower lever will allow the seat back to fold forward. Rear seat passengers may then exit the vehicle. 
In previous model years, entry and exit from the rear seat was only possible from the passenger side. But during the latter part of the 1989 model year, the tip slide function was added to the driver's side seat as well. Rear seat passengers may now enter or exit from either side of the vehicle. This feature is standard on all 1990 Bronco II models. Simple things like the operation of the tip slide seat function are important details that should be included in every Bronco II delivery. With features that provide an excellent ride, power and performance, sure controlled stopping, the convenience of touch drive four wheeling, flexible, comfortable seating, and great savings, Bronco II will continue as a favorite of compact utility buyers. Use Bronco II's features and their benefits, and use your 1990 truck salesperson source book to sell more Bronco II's in 1990.